arrived in Branson, Missouri, and this is a city that is pretty well known in the Midwestern community uh, to be, you know, a place where you go when you want to really enjoy some country music. It's the Ozarks. It's very, very beautiful. There's a lot of trees. Um, there's a lot of music related stuff. But since we're a family with little kids, and since those are great things to do and very fun, but it's not something we're particularly interested in. I'm gonna show you what you can do in Branson as a family with young toddlers. We're gonna to be here from today until a few days from now, and it'll be a great time. This morning, we went to Top of the Rock and Big Cedar Lodge, and we really enjoyed our breakfast and some scenic sights. Um, we went inside of the cave and we'll I'll show you those clips here in a little bit It was super fun. We did some things we normally don't do as a family and so It was a great experience, but I'm excited to have you guys along for the ride The first place that we stopped at when we got into town was Top of the Rock and Big Cedar Lodge. These two things are technically separate locations, but they're within the same entry point. So we headed over to Top of the Rock first just to see some of the scenic sites. They have a lot of different outdoor recreational activities to do. They have the Top of the Rock Lost Canyon Cave, which we actually ended up doing a nature trail through that cave, which you'll see later in the video. They have a guided trail walk. They also have um, the ancient Ozarks Natural History Museum and the Cathedral of Nature, but it is the highest elevation in Branson. And it's really cool because you get a very panoramic, beautiful landscape view. We got to see it from just driving through very quickly, but the girls were hungry. So we headed over to the other side, which is Big Cedar Lodge. very bummed that I forgot to go back and order the custard after I had gotten my meal because that is obviously what they're known for is their custard. Nonetheless, the western quiche that I got and the acai berry smoothie were absolutely delicious and Roberto got the Reuben sandwich panini. We also got a cup of fruit for the girls to share which was perfect for them as they're little. They don't tend to eat a lot of different things but fruit is always a safe bet if we're out eating this area was so beautiful and it was cool because we could be outside looking at this beautiful creek uh, flowing down and all of the cabins surrounding the area and the trees is just so peaceful we also got to see a little beautiful creature flying through the sky which was super neat we had breakfast we headed over to top of the rock to go through the lost canyon cave and nature trail it's so beautiful and you basically take a golf cart and you drive through the entire thing and it takes about 45 minutes to an hour depending on how fast you go and how many times you stop but they do allow you to stop along the way to take pictures to get out and walk around and it was really neat because because of that the girls really enjoyed it. They didn't feel too cooped up, but it was a, just a nice, scenic, peaceful drive through the forest, through the mountains. We even got to go through a cave and observe an underground waterfall, which was super cool and very interesting, seeing all the stalactites and stalagmites. And it's just, such a beautiful trail. I highly recommend it if you have little children. The 
yeah. Do you like this place? Yeah. Say hi. Bethany, say hi. Okay, let's go. Let's keep going. Something that we thought would be super fun for the girls would be to take them to see a place called Mocha's and Meow's. And basically you order a coffee and then you can go and pet kitties for a certain amount of time depending on how much you pay. And you can enjoy your coffee while petting some little kitties that are actually up for adoption. And the concept of this is really cool. I asked them how many kitties they've had adopted since they started this and they've had 163 in a little over three years since they've been open. And I just thought that was so neat because they're rescuing little kitties from shelters and having people pet them and get to know their personalities so that they consider whether or not they want to adopt them. That little black one's name was Seasons and it was so playful. It was still a kitten, obviously, but all the kitties in there were super sweet and calm, good with children. And we really enjoyed it a lot. Maddie introduced us to each little kitty and told us their names and it was super cool. That one, his name was Leaf and he was about to get adopted the next day. The little orange one that was in the little hammock. Later that evening, after the girls got to rest for a little bit, we went to Guy Fieri's Branson Kitchen and Bar, and they have such good food. I'm telling you, this guy has been on the Food Network various different times and different shows. I ended up getting the Baja Bowl, which was absolutely delicious, and Roberto got the old school steak sandwich. They also had these very interesting waiter type situations that were actually a robot but highly recommend that you eat here if you love flavorful food unfortunately though roberto's was not as flavorful as we thought it would be Can't believe I live in your thoughts. after dinner we walked around the landing for a little bit and every so often during the evening hours they have a spectacular fountain show with music and this particular clip they were playing 
a lot of patriotic music. Branson is a very patriotic city, which is really cool. There's a lot of homage to veterans and to patriotism. So it was really neat to see. You're the rose in a garden day two in Branson and today we're heading out to Silver Dollar City. During the fall time they have a fall festival that is non-spooky so it's great for little kids and they have a lot of different activities. So we're gonna do the two-day pass so we can go back tomorrow and also be able to leave during nap time today. So it was thunderstorming a little while ago but it's a lot clearer right now so we're hoping for some good weather <laughs> where we don't get rained on um, and we have our double stroller. So That'll be great, and we're about to head out the door right now. Silver Dollar City is probably the equivalent in the Midwest to a Disney with a Western theme that is set in the 1800s. I found out a little bit of interesting history regarding the origins of this theme park. So in the 1500s, Marvel Cave was discovered by the Osage tribe and in 1894, William Henry Lynch purchased the cave and he opened up the first tourist attraction that year. It was open for over 50 years and in 1960, the Hershend family built the 1880s village around the cave, which was the beginnings of Silver Dollar City. I thought that was highly interesting and that fact that it has been an attraction because of the cave for about 200, over 200 years is very, very fascinating to me. The entire park was decorated with pumpkins and fall themed things. There was a lot of craftsmen there as well, making different sorts of things in the ways that they would make them in the 1800s. It was super cool. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that until after we were leaving, so I didn't get a lot of clips of that. But the first day we basically just walked around the park and saw what kinds of rides the girls could actually get on and enjoy. Unfortunately, there weren't as many as we thought there would be, and so that was a little sad, but I'm sure that when they're older, we can go back and enjoy it more thoroughly. After we left Silver Dollar City, we headed to Paula Dean's family kitchen and her food is scrumptious, absolutely delicious. We got the meatloaf, we got the fried chicken. You can pick and choose what you want to have with your dinner and it's family style served. Good morning. We're on day three of our trip to Branson. 
Yesterday was super fun. In retrospect, the um, actual Silver Dollar City does not have a lot of rides for kids that are under, what was it, 34, 36 inches. Um, there was only a couple of rides that Adeline was actually able to go on. So that was a little sad. And same for Bethany. Like Bethany only had maybe a couple more that she could go on. Um, and both girls obviously had to go with uh, an accompanying parent on the ones they could go on. So if you're planning to go to Branson with little kids hey, that are under the age of, I would say about five years old, depending on their height, um, it's probably not worth it unless you just want to walk around um, and enjoy the sights. Um, however, tonight we are going back because we got the two day pass. We did not realize that there was not a lot of rides for them to go on. So we were there for a good four hours. We did enjoy the view um, of the park and just the decorations and everything, but they did get pretty tired towards the end of it and napped in the stroller, as you saw. Um, so we're gonna go back tonight, this evening at 5.30. They're starting their, uh, I believe it was called, uh, what was it? Their um, fall festival. It has a specific name and I cannot remember what it is right now. Um, but we're gonna go back at 5.30 because that's when they open a different section of the park and that's where they have, I'm guessing, all of the different like fall activities. So we didn't walk through there yesterday, it wasn't open um, and we left before it started. But we'll go head back this evening and then check that out. So for the rest of today, we're gonna go have breakfast right now. It's a little bit of a later start to the day. We were pretty tired this morning. And then we are gonna go look at some shops, shop around a little bit, probably head home a little bit early so the girls can take a nap or rest. And then we'll head out this evening back to Silver Dollar City. Farmhouse Restaurant is the place to eat if you want some home-cooked Western-style breakfast. It was absolutely delicious. Roberto got the number one special and I got the number two special. His was chicken fried steak and I had the biscuit combo with the ham. Super good. All right, we took the wrong way. <laughs> Went all the way down a giant hill with the stroller and now we have to go back up. So we're heading over to the 417 Vintage Market. It has a lot of <clears throat> restored vintage furniture pieces. And we came here last time we were here and we got here right before they closed. So we didn't actually get to enjoy it or anything, but here's a cute little truck, cute little vintage market. And let's go see what they have. If you love home decor and restoring furniture as much as I do, then you absolutely must go to 417 Vintage Market. It is three stories tall with nearly 15,000 square feet and they have vintage furniture that has been restored based around farmhouse decor and a lot, they have a lot of decor for seasonal stuff. They had a lot of Christmas stuff, tons of furnishings, you name it, they had it. They also have a really cool coffee shop on the third floor that you can grab a coffee and just explore the entire store. I love it so much. It reminds me of a little bit more of a farmhouse style Magnolia. If you follow Joanna Gaines, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but the fact that they restore furniture and make them look pristine and just beautiful is so cool to me. So I highly recommend it. I really enjoyed it. The girls loved running around the entire store. They also have a really cute vintage toy collection that they sell. Super cool, very, very neat store. I love it.
evening, once the harvest festival had started, we headed over after it was dark because we wanted to be sure to be, enjoy all of the lights and, and seeing how everything was all lit up. It was a lot more small than I expected it to be. It was just one small little section. They had face painting, they had a few different ball treats, they had a balloon station for the kids, and they had a dance floor for the kids with their parents. And that part was actually unexpectedly the most entertaining thing I think of the entire trip. Roberto volunteered himself to do a dance off with other dads, moms, and kids. And as you can see, I was not expecting it at all. And I'll let you see what the result was of that because it was very cool. Aaron's gonna play a song. I'm gonna call one of you out at a time. You'll stand right here, and then I'll count you in with a three, two, one, and you have 10 to 15 seconds to dance your heart out. Okay? We are competing for this Supremo balloon from our friends at the Twisty Tie Shack, okay? Select your top three. Your top three. Just for it, all right? I think you're in the top three. All right. If you think Jenny's in the top three, make some noise. Uh, Roberto. All right. So it's Amanda, Jayla, and Roberto. You guys step right there. Noise. If you think it's Amanda, make some noise. But if you think it's Roberto, make some noise. We got a winner, everybody. Give it up for Roberto. He is our winner tonight. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much, bro. Appreciate you. Thank you, Jayla. Thank you, Amanda. Great job. We've checked out from our hotel, and today is our actual anniversary. Happy anniversary. Anniversary. <laughs> so we're just gonna do a little touring around town, and then we're gonna head out. On our final day in Branson, we grabbed some lunch at the Mellow Mushroom and we got, of course, half cheese and then half Merry Prankster, which was super yummy. And shout out to the girl who was our waitress. She was super sweet and she actually thought I looked like her cousin. Obviously, I'm not, but I thought that was cool. It's romanticized, idealized, nothing has been more cruel. Last but not least, on our way out of town, we stopped by our absolute most favorite coffee shop called Vintage Paris. They recently moved to a new location, which is right next to the Branson Scenic Overlook. So you have a really cool view right across from the coffee shop, but their coffee is absolutely delightful. I get the same thing every single time, which is the Monet Latte. <laughs> Be with. It's all that they say. 
All in all, we had a wonderful time celebrating our four year anniversary. I love you, Roberto. Thank you for taking me to Branson. I greatly enjoyed making this travel vlog for y'all. It's actually my first vlog at all on this channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit into our lives on vacation. And I hope to see you around here on my channel. I try to upload every single week. And if not, it's every two weeks, but I'm still around. So I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you for joining me today. Bye.